here and welcome back to the Spirit of Watercolor. And we're going to talk in this short video today just about how the uh, temperature of colors makes a difference in your painting so that you can get um, colors to uh, add perspective to your painting. So they'll either be um, cooler colors or warmer, cooler to warmer, or neutral, somewhere in between, so that when you paint, this is to add with the values, you'll see the difference in how the paint colors come forward, bringing what's in front closer to you, looking more three-dimensional, okay? So let's look at how warm and cool colors actually work and what they are, okay? Um, I have a really nice old book. It's getting really old. Basic watercolor. I don't know if it's still in print. hope it is. Uh, and they have a nice, really clear picture here of a color wheel for us. And as you can see, all the colors here, you know, the yellow and then oranges, reds, and then it goes to purples and then blues and greens and back to yellow. And there's a temperature to these, okay? Um, now, yellow is basically your hottest color. Think of fire, okay? Um, in a flame, a fire, the uh, hottest flames are the white and then yellow and then toward the red, you know, and the red being the coolest of the more. And now think of ice for our cool colors, okay? This is from this book, it's awesome. And so um, the colors will be, um, you know, considered the cool tones here. And then uh, if you add, okay, so if I take say a yellow paint and I add a warmer color to it, anything warmer on here, it will warm it up even more. If I take a cool color and I add it, it will cool it down, okay, so that it's maybe a little bit of a greenish yellow, which is a cooler yellow. Or if you have a more golden yellow or an orangey yellow, that's warmer, okay. Now I have this color wheel that I think I printed, you know, from something online a long time ago. And so my colors are in there, but then there's this like top thing you put on top so you can just kind of look at uh, the wheel and see which are your warm and which are your cool. And it also explains other things in our color theory, which are, there's a whole book on color theory. Right now we're just talking about the warmth and cool, the temperature, okay? And then that's what we're going to put into our painting and we're going to uh, get uh, the temperature to help to uh, add perspective. So again, warmer tones come forward cooler tones receive backwards, so that brings, you know, a little more perspective, which is just another way we're adding that to our values, but we're going to keep the values in the painting, so that means I might add more uh, concentrated yellow, but in the background it would be a softer, more watered-down yellow. Let's go to the, the, the painting now, and let's start to just use this practically and see how it further clarifies how to use temperature. Okay. much for watching today and I hope you will continue to join me and our journey with others now. Thank you for the new subscribers this year. We're up to many more than we were at last year and so it's very encouraging that people are gaining from these uh, these demonstrations and these videos so that you can uh, achieve good watercolor skills where you feel successful and you're excited and enjoying it and taking this journey with me, this spiritual journey. So please like and subscribe if you are enjoying these and uh, we'll continue and also comment if there's things you'd like to see or things that you'd like me to elaborate on if I don't. So I'm really happy to um, connect with you all and to take this journey together. Thanks very much and see you in the next demonstration where we're going to do the temperature.